another story. These are disastrous stories. These are, you know, they ain't the top dog. They ain't the underdog stories. But these are nevertheless stories. Um, you know, we call it rubbernecking, right? People who stopping to see accidents. But it's really something going on right there in that moment where we're trying to piece this thing together. Like we see a car over here and a car right there and a car over there. We see glass right here and this car flipped upside down and no bumper here. And, you know, all of this, we're, all of this is going on while we're driving past this scene, trying to figure this thing out. Hey, so we just uh, hanging out today, man. We went by a site, sort of tornadoes in Hillsboro. We just so happened to get off at the wrong exit and in Hillsboro and I saw, you know, some trees down dilapidated houses, and other things that tornadoes do. And now we about to go check out the blast, the gas blast downtown Durham. Um, the kids have been wanting to see it. Um, I, you know, I see some of my colleagues out there taking pictures of the, uh, you know, just the area. Um, just to go and again, soak it all in. You looked at the building across the street from the explosion. You kind of see how the windows were kind of caved in. You see all the windows blown out from right this building right here, right? All the windows blown out. And look at these, look at these, win look at these windows over here. I'm scared. I'm scared. See these windows crashed in. Um, we looked at a brick, a broken brick that was just on the street in the middle of nowhere. Yo, can you imagine where that brick came from, yo? No. Um, we seen a, a, a cup half filled with a gold or a bronze like substance with it. Um, and, we, you know, we was just trying to figure out what is the story behind this cup? I think it was a man who was drinking and he left his beer right there to run away from the gas. Right. Why is this cup sitting on a newsstand inside of what we would deem as a war zone? I don't right. think no man would be drinking no beer at 9 o'clock in the morning, though. People are crazy. Nah, bro. What you mean, bro? A beer that early in the morning, man? I think it was there for the night before, though. You feel me? Who was drinking it? Like, when were they drinking it? Were they drinking it the night before? It's amazing how many stories come from these things, right? How many stories you can put together and come from them and just look at the scene and you can see the different stories that develop from it, so. And guess what? Um, it's up to his mind or her mind to determine what really happened because don't nobody know what really happened except the person who had that cup. Yeah.